Wildly enough, I've been editing for over a decade, and for all these years, I've been using this. Not even my Apple mouse, just this one. I actually trashed it right after I got my hands on this, the MX Master 3S. But now, we have the latest and greatest, the MX Master 4, the game changer. <laughs> Logitech brought me up to New York City a year ago to check out and learn about the MX Creative Console. Hi everyone, um, I know some of you, but I'm with I do global training. And it really opened my eyes to features I wasn't taking advantage of. I had no idea that I was missing out on speed, comfort, and convenience. Then they insisted on giving me the MX Master 3S and the MX Keys S, which I was totally stuck in my ways and I did not think that I was gonna use these. I swear I didn't think so. I wanted to keep using my cheap little $8 corded mouse. Oh, I know this mouse. This is the best. I love this one. It's better than any other mouse. It's simple. It's cheap. It's perfect for me. To be fair, it was. It was good. And for a long time at that, I used it for a long time. It was also made by Logitech, so I could only trust that these would be better. This MX Master 4 is my new mouse for video editing and all around use. It's beyond anything I ever imagined and not because Logitech customized my name into it, <laughs> but because this mouse has haptic feedback, meaning it gives a gentle but satisfying vibration whenever you do anything involving it. Most importantly, there are three perfectly placed buttons right above where my thumb rests, which I've customized in Final Cut Pro for three very important shortcuts. Marker, cut, delete. Paired with my MX Creative Console, I can keep my left hand on the play and stop button to blast through any music video, YouTube video, or even short form video. I can quickly mark places that are important to my edit using the first button. I can race through a music video performance, cutting out any bad portions of the performance using the second button. And that third button right there is assigned to delete. So I pretty much told you music videos or any type of video, cut, delete. I was never able to do that with that cheap, basic mouse that had a cord on it. There was no buttons, no customization. Just what was I thinking? thinking. <laughs> I also have two great scroll wheels on my mouse. That large satisfying one above my thumb allows me to scrub left and right down my timeline for quickness. The main scroll wheel on top of the mouse allows me to scroll up and down in my timeline. While clicking that scroll wheel in, it zooms into my timeline for accuracy. That small little button behind the top scroll wheel is set to zoom out so I can get back to a full view quickly pressing it. Something I love about this new haptic thumb pad is when you click it in, you can then pull up another customizable action ring for more quick to use shortcuts. All right, real quick, I have to let you hear the satisfying vibration coming from the haptic feedback. Just listen. If y'all weren't able to hear that, you can come right here into the Logi Options Plus and I can just click on this mouse. I can go to haptic feedback, click on this, and I can change it uh, the intensity from subtle to low to medium to high. So with high, it's gonna like hit real hard, which I like, I think it's cool. Subtle, very subtle, obviously. I've been keeping it on low. Here, I'll let you hear high. It's just a satisfying feeling knowing that you're like going over and hovering over uh, icons. Being able to feel that feedback on the mouse is, it's just different, it just feels good. As you can see here, stronger vibration consumes more battery power. So that is something to consider. So I, like I said, I've been keeping it on low. It just feels nice on low and technically it's not gonna take as much battery power. Here you can see the settings of my Master 4. I'm gonna come over here to Final Cut. You can see all the settings that I told you before. Zoom in is if I click this. Zoom out is if I click that small button behind the main scroll wheel. Timeline horizontal scroll for that big scroll wheel above my thumb. And then the three buttons is add marker, cut the clip, delete selection, and then show actions ring on a thumb pad. Then we can do actions ring, we can do customize ring. Now, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I have not customized my action ring yet just because I've been using this mouse because I've had a lot of work recently. I'm just getting my stuff knocked out. I haven't had time to dive in and do it, but what I did notice is when I hit my actions ring, I have default layout at the top and color effects layout. So let me take you into Final Cut Pro. If I am in here and I'm ready to start color grading uh, on a video clip, I can just simply push this and I can click this and it'll take me to the color grading um, setup window where I can see the vector scopes and waveforms and things like that quickly. Then if I want, I can hit that again for the action ring on the thumb pad, go back to default layout and I'm back to my editing layout. I like that I can bounce back between those and I plan to dive deeper 
and customize my action ring more in depth very soon because that alone just saves time than having to go up here to the window, come down to workspaces, go try to find it and then click on it. It saves like five seconds, 10 seconds. And that 50 times in one project while you're editing could add up to a couple minutes of time saved. I'm loving this Master 4 and I use the Master 3S now as a travel mouse. I keep it in my backpack and I travel with that one and I keep this one, the Master 4 at the main editing studio desk. And I am not saying that I like this mouse because this video is sponsored. I'm truly in love with this mouse and it really changed the game for my editing workflow and it speeds things up and it just makes things convenient and it feels nice in the hand. The Apple mouse is trash. I hate when my hand lays flat. I like a nice full mouse when I'm editing. So this was a complete game changer, truthfully. I guess the more important point of this video is being stuck in your ways could be holding you back, like me. If you're interested in editing faster and joining me over at Logitech, I've included a link down in my description to my editing tools. Those links are only for the creatives that are trying to take this very serious like I am. Thank y'all for watching the video. I highly recommend uh, Logitech. So if you wanna see a deeper dive on the MX Creative console, then check out these videos where I dive a little deeper into the settings and using them.